Okay, this is a tutorial for how to make a quick, uh, fast, easy muzzle flash. Um, so, first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna go to download.com. You're gonna get a program called Light Artist. And it's just go there, search, and it should be the first one. Download it. Um, it's free, and it's a photo editing program. Um, so, after you've downloaded that, then continue watching. Um, okay, so the first step is you want to get all the photos of the gunshots. Actually, we're going to do gunshots of explosions and blood spats. So, first, uh, I will you time on and you will get to right about the point where the gun kicks back so let me just get that real quick I'll show it's right about there take a picture save the picture and then cut the clip because you're going to insert the picture back in there after you're done after you edit the picture okay so let me go to the next spot just a sec just go. okay so take a picture, cut the clip, um, let me go to another one. Okay. Um here's another one. Okay. Uh we're gonna do blood spats right after this one. Okay. Take a picture. Cut the clip. Let me zoom in a little bit more. Um, okay, blood spat. Now, the blood spat is the same basic concept as the muzzle flash, except for you're going to use a different color, but we'll do that. So, you want to go right about to where the shot is a hit on the person and take a picture and same thing cut the clip um machine guns you gotta you gotta do a short before. long but it doesn't work with long it, it's kind of hard i usually uh, just do like a short burst of machine gun fire you take a picture i'll show you how it comes out at the end of this uh, tutorial um let me do another bullet spat here ah! just go back to the beginning ah! and like here like right where the bullet impact would be on the body Okay, grenade, exp okay, explosion is the same, pretty much the same thing as a mobile flash. But you want to get to right about where it looks like it blows up. And cut it. Okay, now we're ready to do the photo editing. So you open Light Artist. And I'll make this bigger. Okay, uh, actually I think it'll be better. It's smaller, middle of the screen open and in your pictures you get you click on the picture that you want I'll start with this one add right here add light source so you have a light source now you just added a light source and you can trim this down to where it's about that size and uh, add the intensity right here on the side add it up to full blast usually that's what you're gonna need you might add uh, another light source if you want more light but I usually just add one I'm going to add two th this time. Uh, it depends a lot on the background of the image. Move them over a little bit. Process right here on the bottom and you can see what it looks like. Then you save it and you overwrite the original image. Let me do another one. Okay. This one, the background is a little darker. So the light will tend to concentrate where it's light on the ground. So you have to put chalk the intensity up. That's about good right there. A good color for muzzle flash, either a light yellow or a or a white. It usually works the best. Here's another one. Trim it down. Chalk the intensity up. Process it. Save it. Okay. 
machine gun, uh, I usually use yellow. You can use a combination of whatever colors you want, whatever you think looks good. Uh, if you're doing black and white, you should use white. If you're doing a black and white movie, if you're going to make it black and white later. If it's color, I'd use yellow, for at least for machine guns. Uh, blood. For a blood spat, it's the same thing as a muzzle flash. Just make it really small. Put it on the body. You can turn the intensity however high you want it, however big you want the blood spat to be, and then just change the color to red. Looks like that. Make it a little smaller. That's about good. I'll do one more of those, and then we'll tackle explosions. Oh, wait. Oh. Wrong one. Here we go. Okay. This one's a little closer up. And it's a little lighter in the background. Just go to where you want. Turn the intensity up. Make it red. Okay, explosion. Explosion's basically just a big muzzle flash. Same concept. Add, I'll make it, I'll make it a light yellow. Um, make it, make it big though. I'm going to make it about that big. Then you turn the intensity way up to full blast. Then you process, that's what you get. Looks kind of like an explosion. Save it. So that's all. They're all saved. They're, uh, so now I go back into Windows Movie Maker, and all the images I saved are already up here. So now all I have to do is put them back in. Okay. So I got the first one. Then you're going to zoom in. You want the picture to be as possible. And, uh,. Here's another one. Right here. Let's just put it in, turn the intensity down. Or you got the small um another. Oh, great. I just froze. Okay, there we go. Okay, um here's another one. Grab it down, stick it in, make it small. Uh, now the blood spat right there, make it small. And then the machine gun. It's a lot easier. You do your, all your photos at once, which makes it a lot faster. I've seen these ones where they have, they take it or whatever, and that. I don't do that, that takes way too long for me. I'd rather just get it done fast. So this is what I use. Okay. Um, then just put in a sound effect, put in some music, and that's, you got your, uh, you got your, uh, video there.